talk is about Christmas. Oh yeah, today is our Christmas show. Mommy, 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 today is our Christmas show. Guys, watch it now. Are you hungry again? Yay! Let's go and watch it. Everybody, let's talk to our mouth. Then let's watch a, a, a movie. And welcome to our Infant School Christmas Show! The theme for this year's Christmas show is Peace on Earth. It's quite a fitting theme as we have been learning so much about the United Nations and its desire to have nations work together to create a more peaceful world. Peace being kind. by listening carefully to our naughty children as they sing a song of peace to remind us of what it means to live in a peaceful way.
there are so the very thought of it makes me excited. But what do you think we could do to create such a world and such feelings inside? I think GIS Moto can help. When we have an understanding of each other, we realize that one may be different in some ways. We should love and respect each other. This can help create a more peaceful world. We can have peace on earth by being kind and helpful to each other. Here are reception daffodil and class one violet to tell us more as they sing kids' peace song. Christmas, the night Jesus Christ was born. His birth brought peace, hope, and joy into the world. One December night, a long time ago. It all began when a good and kind woman named Mary was alone, and a messenger, the angel Gabriel, appeared before her. At first, Mary was afraid to see an angel, but then he told her that she had been chosen to give birth to baby Jesus, the Son of God, the Prince of Peace. 
Mary now understood everything she had been told, and it filled her with great joy. She told Gabriel that she would happily carry out her mission. Soon after that, the angel Gabriel appeared to Joseph while he slept. In Joseph's dream, Gabriel told him of the plan. Caesar Augustus, the ruler at that time, commanded all men to go back to their birthplace to be counted. So Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem. When they arrived, the city was crowded and all of the inns were full. Joseph tried to find a place for Mary, but the innkeepers kept telling them there was no room in the inns. But one innkeeper looked at Mary, who was great with child and felt sorry for her. He said he had no room, but offered her a place in his stable at the back of the inn. The stable was for animals, but Mary and Joseph were grateful for any shelter they could find. That night, Mary gave birth. Jesus was born. It was a holy night In the dark they came an awesome light All around town people were sleeping Around the fields the shepherds were keeping Away in the major, the baby lay A tiny boy lay in the hay All the angels shall bow and his head. watching their flocks of sheep on the steep hills surrounding Bethlehem. An angel suddenly appeared above them in the sky. The shepherds had never seen an angel and they were frightened. But the angel soon comforted them saying, Fear not, good shepherds, for I have wonderful news. Today, in the city of Bethlehem, a special baby was born. This baby shall grow up to bring kindness, love and peace to save our world. You shall find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Then suddenly a whole host of heavenly angels appeared and they herald the news of the baby Jesus.
departed, the shepherds decided that they should go see the baby Jesus right away. The shepherds were the first to see and worship the baby Jesus, the Savior, the Son of God, the Prince of Peace. of Bethlehem, wise men noted an unusually bright star in the sky. The three wise men followed the star to the stable. When they saw the baby Jesus, the wise men fell on their knees in humble worship. It was a beautiful night they would always remember. His birth brought peace, hope and joy into the world. And it was the first Christmas. Born unto us this day, a Savior. 
enjoy. As we think back on that first Christmas, our hearts become more filled with love. If we can carry that feeling with us throughout the whole year, I have no doubt we would have a more peaceful world. We invite you to join us this Christmas as we light a candle for peace and sing peace around the world. Light a candle for peace, light a candle for love, light a candle that shines all the way around the world. Light a candle for me, light a candle for you, that I wish for real peace. so that everyone could be happy. Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you for joining us for this year's Retro Christmas Show. We invite you to do your little part each day so that we can make the world a little more kind, a little more beautiful, and a little more peaceful.
Infant School. I'd like to say thank you for joining us and for the delights of your company. It's been amazing. To all those who have participated and helped and parents for your support, we appreciate you. Wishing you all a most peaceful, lovely, festive season. And for those who are going to be celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas. To everyone, a wonderful, amazing New Year. All the best. Bye-bye. Peace. Peace on Earth. For peace, it represents patience, passion, and participation in everything that I do that makes me happy. E, excitement. What is peace without being excited? A, acknowledgement. Acknowledging the good that people do. Acknowledging the good that comes out of the world. And acknowledging everything peaceful. C, calm and cheerfulness. And the final E, which is excellence. Doing the very best in everything that I do. So peace on earth means being peaceful with everything, being passionate and participating in everything that brings joy, peace and sanity to the earth. Peace means being kind, having mutual respect and respecting each other's differences. Peace, peace, peace on earth. Peace is not about fighting. Peace is about caring and sharing with each other. Peace is about taking care of your friends when they need your help. Peace on earth is not just about the absence of war or conflict. Peace on earth means harmony. Peace on earth means the act of kindness. Peace, shalom, goodwill to all men. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, nothing can bring you peace but yourself. Do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. Let peace reign in our lives, wherever we find ourselves and whatever we do. Shalom. Peace.